What's up YouTube, it's Fitzbro, and this is my brand new DAC build order guide for you. This is going to feature the Bersaglieri, the Italian Combined Arms Battle Group, and what's known as better as the pizza tanks, those light tanks for the Italian armor. And this build order, it works great in team games, it works great in 1v1s, and I've won a lot of games with it, so I'm gonna break it down for you. Before we get started, you can find all of my build order guides available in my Discord. You can come on over here to my guides channel. I've got these images, which you can pull up on another screen. And I also have YouTube accompaniments for all of them where I talk you through my build order. So if you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Leave me a comment. I always love testimonies if this works out for you. And let's dig into this. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to do is grab that Italian combined arms as soon as you start the game and grab the Bersaglieri. It doesn't cost any command points, but does cost some manpower to call in and it's got a cooldown on them. So you want to immediately get that queued up. So I'll kind of show you it in here in game. We're going to grab our Italian combined arms. I'm going to grab my Bersaglieri and here at the very start, I can call them in. Now, if you're not very familiar with these units, they're a mainline anti-infantry unit. Now, they don't have any AT capabilities, so we'll talk more about that here uh, in this build. Uh, but you're going to upgrade these over time with their veterancy they're going to get. You're going to grab this Burst of the Area Bolster, which is going to give them an additional squad member later. You even can get a Beretta Light Machine Gun and then upgrade them further. So they just get to be really strong. They sprint around the battlefield, and they're a great unit uh, to have a, a mass of. But we'll get back to that. Let's go back to the build. So you're going to grab your Italian combined arms, get your Burst of Glary immediately. So you're going to send that initial Panzer Pioneer squad out to grab your first cap point, and then you're going to send your Bersaglieri out to grab a point. Now, I try to group these up on kind of like two-thirds of the map is generally my, generally my rule. You want to be able to double-team any enemy units you might run into. You might, maybe it's a Royal Engineer, maybe they are Pathfinders. You want to be able to, to team up on them and ideally have your Panzer Pioneer going around capping points if they can get away with it. Now, I like to go with three Bersaglieri. So back to back to back. Now, you can go with four, but what I'll caution you is at this point, you're probably going to have sustained some damage. And rather than running all the way back home to heal, it would be great to have a medical truck on the front line. So I will not overextend, but try to just pull some of the damage Bersaglieri back and tech towards this medical truck. So for this reason, I go three Bersaglieri, I get my Lloyd's, uh, light support company, and then I train in my medical truck. Now from here, you need to start thinking about anti-tank. Yeah, your opponent might be bringing in some kind of flak truck or some, some type of light armor. And that's where, well, enter the queue. We've got our Panzer Jaeger call-in. It's going to be precisely time to call in. So let me show you how to get that in case you aren't familiar. So from your main base, you're going to, of course, get to the Light Support Company uh, once you've got three Bersaglieri. Uh, and from there, you're going to uh, be able... It's going to unlock these different call-ins. Now, my call-ins are... All are already available but at the very beginning of the game there's a countdown on this so this all has a cooldown on it so uh at about the time you follow the build of get three burst of glaries, you get your your med truck do some fighting it's about time to call this in 275 manpower so i'll call that in there it comes from off map and it comes with a half track with a panzer jaeger inside of it which can also by the way uh be upgraded further to get a machine gun you can check that out right here you can get the light machine gun so i'm going to go ahead and jump out of this vehicle and there you can see it now we have uh you can get that machine gun now that does cost 100 ammo so later on if you want to get this you're going to grab fire support uh elements but that's not super important you can get that now the next thing i will recommend for you so that'll be very good against armor Keep him alive. Do not lose these Panzer Jaegers. they are so so important kite back have your med truck towards the front line uh from there, one thing I've been liking to do recently is go for the combat half tracks because, well, you've already called in this half track, and which you, when you get the combat half tracks, then you can pay some munitions and you can upgrade your half track to be a mortar half track. Now, the Af Africa Corps does not have access to a traditional mortar. This is your only way, and guess what? This is going to work perfectly because what's a great counter to a bunch of infantry spam? Well, your enemy's probably going to have some machine guns. So. 
sit back. You can have your Panzer Jaeger defending, you know, your half track with your mortar and your med truck. Maybe you're falling back to heal. Maybe you're poking out at their armor. And you can start shelling the opponent. So I just recently started adding this into my build, and I've liked it. You might have some variations on this, so let me know what you like to do as far as when you go for a Bursa Glary build. But there, from there, you've got your mortar half track. You've got some good map control, hopefully. You've been healing up your infantry. You're going to have, at this point, have used the uh, Burgess Theory Bolster, which is going to increase their squad size by plus one. Now, you do need to be near something that can actually reinforce it. So I'm here in Maine or near your med truck that's got reinforced turned on. So now they're the power of six. And you might be tempted, well, next, let's go for the Breda. But wait, this, this upgrade wallet is amazing. I will show it to you. It gives them a machine gun, and you can also then additionally purchase another one. But wait to get this. It costs three command points, and at this point, your most important thing is, on top of keeping your Panzer Jaeger alive, is going to be uh, calling in the Simovente assault gun, one of your pizza tanks, because this is your anti-tank. If they've got some kind of, uh, maybe it's a chaffy, uh, whatever it might be in the mid parts of the game, this is going to be one of your best options to get this. And it's a light tank, it's quite speedy. Uh, it's gonna struggle against those tier three tanks, but your goal is to have dominance. Don't even let them get to tier three. You're gonna take out their half tracks, whatever they might have. And I often, by the time I've called this in and killed their first armor, often the opponent is resigning at this point in the game. So this is an, a dedicated anti-tank gun. It's not very good against infantry. You can kind of see its speed there. Keep it alive. By the way, your Panzer Jaeger can repair as well as your Panzer Pioneer. Your Burgers, uh, Bursa Glarius will not be able to repair. So just be aware of that. Uh, after that, you can grab the Kara Armato light tank. And this one is going to be a little more a kind of like a, a mini Sherman is the way I see it. It's your anti-infantry, anti-vehicle. It's quite speedy. Again, if they've got AT, stay away from it because it is a light tank. You do have armor piercing rounds from that. Uh, and it does increase uh, nearby Italian units and improve the effectiveness of it once it gets veteran C1. Okay, so you can see here, I get my half track, I get my uh, first tank. Usually about this time, it's time to call in your second group of Jaeger call-ins, uh, or perhaps you're gonna add a Burst of Glary. Honestly, at this point, I'm usually improvising. This is the most important part of the build right here. Uh, but you wanna call this in when it's available just because having two Panzer Jaegers better than one and going to help counter any light or medium armor they have in the early game, and you can repair your tanks with them. And from there, that's pretty much it. You're gonna be able to win the game, hopefully have established that dominance. Uh, the last thing I'll show you I like to grab, so again, I go uh, Burst of Gary, I get the bolster, then I go for my tanks, and then I might grab my Breda at this point, or typically if I don't have enough points, I might go for the Pact of Steel. This is gonna reduce the cost of all of my light vehicles. So now look at that. Uh, that call-in is even cheaper now. So that's typically how you go one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll grab Breda last. I used to go for this first, but then I found I was always like not having AT and getting out this Simo Vente is so important of dealing with like those easy, those early flak vehicles or whatever you might be going up against. And with that, make it your own, have fun with it. Like all of my guides, I always say, it is a general outline. Be prepared to adapt and let me know what changes maybe you've made uh, or if you've tried the strategy before. I hope you enjoyed this build order guide. Please consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, and I hope to see you in the Discord. Tell me about all those sweet wins you get with the Italian combined arms. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.